This tiny speck here is me and this is Scooby and I'm around 80 meters away from the 1X2 and I'm filming with the Rode Wireless Go radio mic. It's my favorite wireless mic for 360 cameras and even at this distance the sound is really impressive. Wait there a sec, I'm coming over. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to keep the Rode Wireless Go visible in your 360 shots. So let's get straight to it. The Rode Wireless Go consists of a mic and a receiver, and both are similar sizes. And this is the mic that's attached to my lapel now, and this is the audio that you're hearing. The receiver needs to be attached to your camera using the clip at the back of the mic, and it attaches to a cold shoe mount. The problem with 360 cameras is that anything that sticks out from the stitch line around here will show up in your final shot. This will then restrict the type of shots that you get and you won't be taking full advantage of your 360 camera. You can work around this by working with one lens on your camera, either by shooting in single lens mode or reframing like we have here. But this can be a bit boring and if you've got a 360 camera, you want to take advantage of both lenses. This tiny accessory by Ulanzi solves all these problems. You may want to record yourself walking and talking like this while you look around the whole of the 360 image. You may also want to take your selfie stick higher and come out to a no drone, no problem style shot like this. You can also put your camera on the end of an extended selfie stick and while it's up in the air you can take a look around and you still can't see the mic receiver. For those that like tiny planet shots you can get a shot like this. With all of these shots I just showed you, I was using the new Ulanzi PT20 cold shoe mountain bracket and used along with the mic adapter for the 1X2. This helps keep the Rode Wireless Go receiver invisible. It's really easy to fit. You simply pull off the USB door, insert the mic adapter first, place the PT20 bracket in between the base of the camera and the selfie stick, making sure that it lines up with the stitch line of the camera. Remember, everything that is within this stitch line will be invisible in your final shot. The bracket has a cold shoe adapter that sticks out the side, and you simply clip the Rode Wireless Go onto the bracket with the receiver sitting neatly in here. The bracket comes with a short mini jack to mini jack audio cable, and when you attach it, you have to make sure that it doesn't stick out beyond the stitch line of the camera. And that's it, it's that simple. Jumping across into the app, we also now have stitching for cold shoes. So if you want to fine tweak your stitching, you can toggle this on and off. The Rode Wireless Go is my favorite wireless microphone for using with 360 cameras. And now with this bracket, it makes it much better and even easier for shooting in 360. If you want to watch my full review on the Rode Wireless Go, you can watch that here. Let me know in the comments your favorite mic setup with the 1X2. My name's Rich, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.